This is code.org. I'm working on their CS principles course. I'm on unit three, which is intro to programming, lesson six, functions and top-down design, part three. Let's see here. Do this. We're going to revisit a familiar problem. Ah, yes, I remember this. Draw, draw a square as efficiently as possible. A three by three square as efficiently as possible. The only difference is that this time you are armed with the ability to create layers of functions to help you design more elegant and efficient solutions. Okay. Use the techniques you learned by breaking down problems into layers of functions in order to improve upon your previous solution. All right. So we can now use the functions that call functions that call, well, functions. So I'm going to start like I do with, I'm going to start with a function call, which seems a bit weird, but bear with me because I know main is going to be my function that calls my other, well, functions. All right. Now, let's see how to do this. If I look closely, it looks like this line is darker, this line is darker, this line is darker, and this line. Does that mean those are only the step the only steps they retrace? Hmm. So I'm gonna start by, well, drawing the sides of this square. So I'm gonna say, oh, uh, we'll just call it draw side, okay? And so I'm gonna say go forward one, two, three, once, twice, three times. And then I'm gonna want to turn right, which I don't have yet. So I'm gonna create a function. Ah, control Z to undo that. I'm gonna create a function and just call it right. And then I'm gonna put in three times left, right? To turn right once, twice three times left. Now I'm going to do a few function calls, right? So we created these functions, but nothing makes them run yet. So I have to ask the computer to run them. I've already asked the computer to run everything inside my main function here. And so I'm going to put calls to my other functions, which is draw side. I wonder if we start with a pin down. I might have to add a pin down command, but let's test. Uh, right, run. Oh, no, we do. All right. So one side and I turned. Oh, perfect. And now to draw the other side, I do draw side and write again. So I'm going to go over here to text because it's easier to highlight, right click, copy. And I'm going to right click and select paste. And I'm going to right click and paste again. And paste again. Let's see. Okay, great. However, I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to do that three times. I'm going to go to blocks. I also just realized something. If I'm always going to go right, why not have this function call right? So draw side should automatically face right at the end. So there, that function is going to call the right function. I don't need to call it up here as well. So now I'm going to draw three of the sides. Let me test this. And then I'm going to go up. I'm going to go to here. So it looks like this is the only thing that is traced over twice, these blocks. So then I'm going to go to here. Nope. So then I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to go all the way up, over, boom, over, boom. Down, there, and then back over. All right, that's how we're going to do this. So now I have drawn three sides. I want to go forward and then turn right. Hmm. You know what? No, I don't. Let's draw the whole outside. There we are. 
Now I'm going to go up one, I think, and then I'm going to go across three. But that's similar to, I wonder, what if I do this? And let's pretend that the inside's a side. Will that work? No. No, no it won't. <laughs> All right, so move forward, and then I should have turned right there. So, let's try that. There we go, except I don't want to be facing right. So we're going to create a new function instead of trying to use draw side. Okay. Or, let's try going to the left. Then I'm going to move forward. Oh, whoops, not a function. This move forward. Not turn left. Function call right. There we go. And now I want to go up. So, right again. And then I bet I can use draw side, I think. Because I need to go up three and then right at the top. Let's try it. Oh, I needed to turn left here. Aha, perfect. And now let's try moving forward. And, all right, so I'm gonna take some of this code out of my main. I'm then gonna go. Let's figure out the solution. And then forward once. Left. Let's see where I am. Yep. And so then I'm going to use my right function. Then I'm going to use my right function. And then I'm going to see if draw side will work here. This is looking a mess. I'm going to clean this up in a second. Okay, so far so good. And so the, now I want to go forward, use my right function. Go forward too, and then right again. Once and twice and function. And then forward two. And then right. And then forward two. I think. All right. So now let's clean this up some. So what we need is to look for repeated lines. Because if I'm reusing code over and over, then a function's a more efficient way to do that. So I see I did move forward, forward, move forward, forward, move forward, forward. So maybe we should have a double forward function. Okay. So that's one way we can clean this up easily. We could also, though, have a forward and right function. Forward, right, forward, right. Let's see. Forward, right, forward. Forward, right, forward. Forward, right, forward forward. Ooh, maybe that's more used. Forward, right, forward, forward, right, forward. That's the function we're going to we're going to make then. So our function's going to be um I'm just going to call it forward right. And what it is though, it's going to be exactly this code, right? Cuz I can see just looking at my code how often I go forward, right, forward. Okay, so exactly what that code is, is what I'm going to use. 
And then each time I do that code, right? So right here, for instance, I'm going to call my function. So now let's try. And I name my function forward right. Okay. And I'm going to drop in another function because I also need it for replacing this guy. Bah. And then I need it again to replace the one above it. Okay. And then I'm going to need it here. Forward, right, forward. Bye. Now let's see if it still, still works, though. Yep. And so now that already cleaned up our code some. Now let's look for any other types of redundancies, right? Things that we're using more than once in our code. Hmm. Forward and then left. Forward, left, forward, left. But that's just twice. I'm not sure if that's a big deal. We could do it, though. Okay, and then for clarity though, what I'm gonna do is say draw outside and draw inside. So the whole outside of the square, or almost the whole outside of the square, is drawn. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna, oop, not a call. I'm gonna have draw outside. I'm gonna actually put this at the top. Up below main though. Draw out. Side. And then all of that stuff that I use to draw that side, right? Draw side, draw side, draw side, and then right, forward, turn left. All of this was just to draw the outside. So instead of having that all, just for clarity's sake, I want to have it here. And then up here, I'm going to ask main to run my draw outside function. Okay. And that's just, it makes your program more clear as well. Okay. So now I have a draw outside function. And now I also want, well, a draw inside function. And what does the inside? Well, draw side, move forward, everything up until forward right. Oh, and we don't end in the right direction, but that's okay. I'll fix that function, draw, inside. Okay, let's test. And now I want to face up, so I need to turn right one more time, so I would run my right command. Let's test. That is looking good to me. And so it's really clear when you're looking at our code, when you're looking through our code, it's pretty clear what is happening, right? Draw outside, draw inside, forward and right. Oh, oh, forward right should go and draw inside. And then move forward and right. So that's just the last command here at the end. So it's pretty clear what's happening, and we know, okay, well, we're going to run all this. We ask main to run. We then ask draw inside to run, outside to run. We run all this code. It then goes back up here and runs whatever's below it, which is draw inside, runs all this code, which does other function calls, right? It's abstraction. It's calling other functions from functions. But it gives you a really clean, clear product, and it's kind of segmented together so others can read it. And it's a more efficient program. So let's see uh, how we did. Success. All right. So this was the code that was working for me. Onward.